I'm shooting a live video here via Facebook, via that. Today is uh, 30, 30 uh, June 2019. I'll show you the phone, but it's all tied up with the other thing there. So what I want to do, I want to take this here, okay? I'm going to put this in this contraption. Hopefully have it stuck on the door pretty well. All right, so if I put, ah, this is always fun trying to grab this. Stick it in here without turning off the phone. Right now, if you angle this up, all right, great. So now I can move the whole door, and it looks like that. Okay, so great. So now, <coughs> now I'm going to take back this camera here and introduce the camera briefly because I got it rolling. Okay, so here is a uh, what's on top? Iowa CA30, uh, Fisher PH410. Well, the Sonic Alpha C82, and then we have a, uh, uh, that there, okay, the uh, Unitech, uh, right there, okay, that's what it is, that's what it looks like, this is just a stack here, and of course the microphone is right there on top of the coffee, or whatever I have in there, water, okay, and I just want to show the end view of this, because, See how much, oh wait, <laughs> so there we go, that's actually, well that's, I had to balance it, so, but I just wanted to show it like this, so it's minute 38 gone there doing that, alright, and like I said, I'm live with this camera here, got one person watching, okay, great, it's fabulous, alright, so now I'm going to put this back on the tripod, alright, and I'm going to unstack my stack, Stack to stack. All right, so let's put this down. All right, and put this down, and somewhere, anywhere, get this this down anywhere. Okay, it's not be triangled in your. Okay, so then here's the microphone for this. That one there, that for that. Now I want to. I'm not really watching this. So now, okay. Oops, wrong thing. Okay. All right, so now I want to take the camera and I want to zero it in on the screen. All right. Okay. So and that's about as good as I'm going to get it. All right. So great. So now sit here and I can't see I have to okay I have to get up and look at this camera here all right and I can't zoom with that so you just got to bear with me but it is well here I can tilt it down some I guess yeah there we go great all right that's good all right fine so now I got the two cameras rolling so here what I want to do is just start with this this is a picture of my radio room that's been sold and shipped all right all right so here's the front of the uh, Unitech CX 1212D all right the uh, door just comes out it's it was already off kilter a bit all right and here's the end view and the it takes a uh, unique uh, flat and square pin all right here's the back all right Got a uh, phono, hard to see, but phono line in switch. It's got uh, it's your beat cut switch. And it's got your line in, it's got a ground for phono, it's got uh, external microphones with a remote. And over here, it's got external speakers. Okay, there is the uh, this does take 90 batteries, all right, and it has a, uh, a voltage switch for world voltage inside the battery compartment right about there, all right? All right, so moving along, that's what it looks like. Uh, there's a voltage selector, okay? All right, there's the other end. Again, it takes the, this come out better? Yeah, it's got a weird looking European style thing. All right, here's the top view. The antenna's, you know, got a dent in it so it doesn't fully retract. What can you say? Here's the bottom. Got to know what the bottom looks like. And let's 
got tape, or I mean uh, the belt cred right there. So anyway, takes four screws to open the back. Okay, just like to know where they go and lay them down. That's no flash. All right, and then this also has a uh, you know a DC 12 volt, 15 volt AC in and all of that. All right, so there we go. Okay, and then moving along. Okay, so. The whole chassis just slides out after you open the back or take that off and then you can never take enough pictures so uh, there's a picture of that all right and then see here slide it out take a picture of where the wires go just in case and then here I'm holding the power lead and that power lead goes in the first one not the second one the second one's for the motor okay and uh, what do I do with the microphone while I'm thinking about it? Where is the mic? Oh, it's right there. Okay. All right. So, and then, again, this is the uh, two uh, speaker connections right here. And that's the ground. And then down here is the antenna wire. So that's really nice to know. Okay. And then, uh, just here's a picture of whatever that's a picture of. Okay. And then, uh, here I just had a flashlight on my head like I do now. And a picture of that and again another you know highlighted that to make sure of the orientation and when I unplugged it I took a picture of one of the speaker wires okay and then uh, that's just I don't know another picture of the inside and then you have okay to get these uh, pins off you can't just pull them off you have to take a little screwdriver and stick them in here and push that little plastic pin back to get these unplugged that's for every plug okay so that's what I was showing there. Here I was just holding up the uh, grounding wire, for no reason. Okay, so now here it is apart, uh, and I laid out, wait, let's move it up, and I laid out the wires to show that, you know, those are the wires like that, okay? And then just another view, all right? And then here's the uh, main unit right here, and um, there is some black stuff on the wires, but as you open up the case, I hope you notice there was no belt, no belt residue on the inside. Here's just a picture of the front. People like to know how the uh, the uh, you know the thing is routed. The tr string is routed for those of you that might have one. So there's a string routing picture, okay. And then it's just a view of this angle, a view of the top again, and then a view of that side, and then a view of uh, this here. I was trying to get a picture of of the uh, how the door attaches, and the door attaches by this little piston thing here, and you just unscrew that screw there, and you can get to the door, because I have to get the door, oh, that's a fuzzy picture. Okay, same thing. And then here I'm just trying to see the belts routing before I take it apart, that's why that's like that, okay? And then another picture without a flash to, again, see the same thing, can't see much, hard to see. And then here, okay, here I was trying to see how that uh, spring attaches, so that's how the spring attaches. It's held in place by a screw there, okay, so it's very dirty, okay. And then, um, you know what, again, the, the, just make, taking a picture of this, making sure how it all works, okay. And then, yeah, here I took, all I had to do was take off that one screw, that's all I needed, so there's a picture. Now the door... The door is interesting because it has two clips like you normally see, but you also have to push up this little piece right here off of that catch. If you don't do it, you'll break the door. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty and cobwebby and all that. So obviously, it's still dirty inside here. Okay, so just uh, you know, um, and I found out that if I unscrewed this. Uh, power issue thing, just unscrew that, then you don't have to worry about trying to unplug it, just, and then you can take the front off, all right, so, and this is very important, one screw is longer than the other, and that goes, you know, just like that, as you see it, you know, this is the right hand side, that's the left hand side, that's why I took the picture like that, okay, and that's, go, that's, holds on, that holds on this screw, and this screw right here, which holds the front onto the case, or holds the, the front onto the chassis, okay, so those two screws right there is what goes like that. All right, and then again, that's I unscrewed that. Okay, I just told you about. It. There we go. Take it picture. And then here I took this picture to get the proper orientation of the recording bar switch. There's a switch end, and then this part 
to make sure of what hole it goes into and how it's oriented in here. So it's, you know, this hooks that way and hooks that way. And here's the, uh, I'll give you a close up of the motor if you want to see that. There's the motor and all its glory. Okay, it's a Canon motor. All right. And here, what was I taking a picture of? I was just taking, okay, this is the uh, motor wire. Okay, so the motor wire goes here and the everything is labeled on the power board. So this is two motor and then two power. So that's what that's labeled there as. Okay, it's nice. And then here, when I took the, I only had to take out these, this screw here, this long screw that goes in that hole, and the short screw that goes in that hole to get this panel off to remove the motor to replace the belts. Okay, so there it is, like that. And this was, um, you know, again, no belt. It had the little tiny square belt right here, but, and it was all dirty, okay. But it was uh, just, uh, you know, needed to be like that, so. Take it apart and don't lose this little spring. It's very easy to lose that spring and I was kept springing off and everything but so there's that all right so and yes we use goo gone to clean <laughs> to clean all the pulleys and such all right and then here what am I showing this here for what is this I, okay oh, oh, all right so I was using uh, I, I chuck the um, the flywheel capstan into a thing and then pull uh, unwaxed dental floss through it to clean the pulleys in case people just want to know how to do that. And then here I here I powered it up, powered up the motor and I uh, used you know, a little, little pack, power pack there and actually just put these terminals right across the motor to power through cleaning off all the goo off of there. It's a lot easier that way. This is the old belt, the uh, the secondary belt that I took off, so it's a bit more than a uh, bit more than that big. I put on one at about a, a 11. Okay, I'll show that in a second. So here's the one I I put on. I put that one on. Okay, so that one made everything nicely work. Okay, and then here uh, because I had the flywheel out, I just took this, laid it over the back of that, and was able to find a belt. I put in a 9.7 FRM, uh, which fit rather nicely, okay, and um, so then, yes, when I clean, I use de alcohol, I use the, you know, the, this uh, per, the Puretronics contact cleaner and lubricant, okay, and then I use, you know, cans of compressed air when I clean, that's the only reason why that picture is there, okay, oh, wait, what did I, Oh, okay. This I'm showing. I was using this to clean the recording bar switch, which is this silver bar right here. And I was using this little tool to pull up and pull down the that switch as I run that stuff through it. Okay, people forget about that switch. All your music goes through it. So then here again, I'm just cleaning the heads. Okay, and then oh, ah, all right. Now this, if you notice, this is the power switch, and the power switch pushes on here, and it pushes over, and then these little pieces here attach one attaches here and one attaches there and they, that's a very brittle plastic okay and I'm pointing it out because you know these just don't you don't see these on eBay every day and just uh, this is a very brittle plastic and there's just no way in the world to replace or rebuild that so I put I made an alternate ending here okay let me check something uh, I uh, ended well. Let, let's see. Let me check the camera here. Thirteen minutes. I got to rush along here. Okay. Um, so there's that. I cleaned it. I cleaned the speakers. All right. So it's a uh, four ohm, six watt, in the tweeter. Let's see here. Anyway, I cleaned those. Washed it. There it is. There's a better picture. All right. So let me transition from that. What does this say? 14 minutes. Okay, so that's it. We're done, right? That's the last picture. That's something else. Okay, so all right, so that well, I just got it live and direct here. So now let me move the camera down. All right, move the camera down. Right. Rotate it there, wide out some. All right, that's good. All right, okay, you already seen it. So now let me take this off here. Okay, so. Here it is in all its glory, all right? Because this this camera here shuts off in a minute or so, all right? So there we go. So now let's uh, let's play a tape. So I got in here. What do I have in here? I have a Aerosmith pump.
Okay, so there's that. Hit. Yeah. Wait, turn power on. Debut album, Sign No More. The number is dirty enough. I got to obliterate the stat cast system. Phono, I'm sorry. Well, here, let me go to Phono real fast. Wipe this up. So you hit that. Hit anything. Uh, Fast forward this all day long. Wait, let me show. That's why I brought this thing out here. So let's see here. There we go. So now uh, if I rotate this up so you can hit fast forward. You can hit rewind. You can hit and of course now if I let's see what have we got. Six 